And Katie Nielsen is live in downtown Healdsburg with the latest on evacuations. Katie. Yeah, Juliet, we're right on the square in downtown Healdsburg, a place that would normally be packed with people on a Saturday night in the fall. But right now, it's a ghost town. That's because everyone in Healdsburg and Windsor had to evacuate by 4 p.m. Sheriff's Office. Deputies with the Sonoma County Sheriff's Department went door to door to mark the homes where people already evacuated. While others scrambled to finish packing up whatever they could. You understand that you can't take it all. You just take the things that you figure are going to be more challenging to replace, and the rest of it, you just have to mentally let it go. But how do you explain that to your six year old son? He knows what's going on, and, you know, he says the word fire and he thinks about it. The threat of another massive wildfire isn't far from anyone's mind, especially for those who survived the Tubbs fire that threatened the community almost exactly two years ago. Everybody's on edge. It, it's, you know, they say that fire's right around the corner. It, it's pretty bad. With the wind that's predicted, we don't want to take any chances. We want to make sure people are out. This stuff can happen quick. Two years ago, the fires moved so fast, people had to evacuate with nothing more than the clothes on their backs. But now, there's more time to pack up what's important. Everything is replaceable except for our pictures. Grabbing the essentials, you know, any like keepsakes and then clothes and stuff. Our financial documents and the phone numbers we need, um, birth certificates, that was really it, and uh, lots of diapers and milk. With 50,000 people all trying to leave at once, traffic was practically gridlocked on the city streets. The fire isn't here, that's why we're leaving early. So just be calm, you'll get there. Now, CAL FIRE is going to hold another press conference at 6.30 where we will get some updated information. But the last time we talked with CAL FIRE, they said they expected the strongest winds overnight tonight between midnight and sunrise with sustained winds around 40 miles per hour and then wind gusts in the area of the fire between 60 and 80 miles per hour. All firefighting techniques at that point go out the window. Mother Nature will completely be in control overnight tonight. Live in Healdsburg, Katie Nielsen, KPIX 5.